the 80th All-State Sugar Bowl underway. Christian Jones has it go between his hands, and Alabama will bring it out with A.J. McCarron. P.J. Yeldon is the tailback on the first play from the 25, and it'll be a quick throw complete out to Amari Cooper, and Cooper tiptoeing down the sideline. Nice gain on the opening play of the ball game, a pickup of 15. And now McCarron in the gun, and that's O.J. Howard, the freshman tight end in motion. The throw to the far side, Cooper again. Cooper, another first down, and a lot more. Amari Cooper, one man to beat. They drag him down, but not before he's inside the 10-yard line. T.J. Yeldon hasn't touched it yet. He will right here. Yeldon down near the one. Frank Shannon brought him down, but he got six. Bogler, the tight end. The extra blocker in the backfield. Yeldon, touchdown. T.J. Yeldon. This will be Roy Finch from about the three, and man, and the ball is out as well. Was he down or not? He was. He'll throw on first down. High, but caught. And a pickup of eight out to Bester. Oklahoma 39%. Third down conversion team. They get one here when they needed it to kind of quiet the Alabama crowd a little bit. Clay needed a yard. He got two. And that is a, a challenge for this Alabama defense. Going to throw on first down again. Clay out in the flat. And we got four before he's knocked out of bounds. Knight. Quick slant. Got it. Nice throw and catch. Got it to Jalen Saunders. And it's a first down, Sooners. He's very small in stature at 5'9", 160 pounds, but very, very tough. In fact, the coaches say so tough it rubs off on the rest of the team, which is a good thing. And quickly, Sterling Shepard out on the edge. Alabama has some depth issues up front. They have some injury issues in the back end of their defense. Tempo can be effective against them. And Clay got five and a first down into Alabama territory. This is his final game in an Alabama uniform. Down the seam, and it is intercepted by Landon Collins. Saunders had a hand on it. But the Alabama defense comes up with a first turnover of the game. Landon Collins' second interception of the year has given it back to A.J. McCarron. And McCarron's going deep. And he's in traffic, and it's intercepted by Gabe Lynn. So, just like that. The Sooners get it back. But the tempo was effective for Oklahoma on that opening drive. Night play action. Might want all of it right here. And it's complete down the sideline. Bester. Touchdown. Jordan Phillips, the other guy they lost, was their yeah. number one nose tackle. McCarron. There's his first throw since the interception, and he's got DeAndre White off to the races. White all the way down around the 10-yard line. Just gave up the big return on the, the long miss on the final play of the game. So now it's a 27-yard field goal attempt. And it's up, and it's good. Seven minutes, two seconds remaining in the first quarter. Three of them had 36 catches called in. DeAndre White had 29. Before that long gainer. Sterling Shepard. Oh, nice run by Shepard. When you run on the perimeter, you force safeties and corners to take good angles to the football. Here's Saunders again. Collard after a first down. Keith Ford in the backfield with Trevor Knight for the first time. Knight comes up fire and far side. Nice move by Bester to make the first guy miss. Kept his balance and got five. Knight looks to the sideline. And in the pistol, he'll give it off to Ford, and Ford's got another first down and back in Alabama territory to the 46-yard line. Play action, Knight scanning the field on a crossing route. has got Saunders again, and he'll be run out of bounds over there on the Oklahoma sideline by Eddie Jackson. They got injuries to their left guard and their left tackle. So far, they're holding their own. And Eichard's the key there in that he is the center and the captain 
And one of the smartest guys and one of the better players in the conference. First down throw out to McNamara, the tight end. Clay got the corner. Brennan Clay has got another first down. Bunch receiver set now to the left. He's looking that way. If he gets time, now he'll run it. Trevor Knight, first down slide. Just got it before he hit the deck. Alabama bringing extra pressure. Knight to the corner. Incomplete. No, touchdown. Saunders. I didn't know if he held on to it. So Alabama from the 20. Now that they're trailing again, this time by four. And it's Derrick Henry, the freshman. Goes for about four yards. Second down and six. Henry again. Ooh, what a collision over there on the corner with Gabe Lynn, and he won it by about a half yard. First down from the 31 yard line. Nice play fake by McCarron. He's in trouble, though, and down he goes. Gino Grissom got him. Sack number one on the night at the 24 yard line, but with a second down and 17 after a sack. Quick slant. They got some of it back on the completion in his second tour of duty. In Norman, after his head coaching job at Arizona, A.J. McCarron going long. Wyatt has got it, and he's gone. Touchdown, Alabama. This one's way short. Going to have to run up on him in a hurry at the 14-yard line. And Roy Finch got to the corner. Finch. The kicker had to get him. Foster got him at the 45-yard line, but great field position. So again, a short kick and a good return by Finch and great starting field position at the 45 for the Sooners. And on the option, pitch is late. And Shepard gets drilled by Ha Ha Clinton Nix. But a long yardage situation here on second down. And Knight throws a slant, completes. Bester picked up about five and then Landon Collins landed in on the turf and there's a flag down on the far side Illegal formation more than four players in the backfield number 69 was not on the last scrimmage five-yard penalty remains second down He's a little bit deep right now too as a matter of fact second down and 19 play action screen pass coming Clay another big collision with Clinton Dix and C.J. Mosley. They've seen everything you throw at them, and they take good angles to the football. Third and long. Deep ball caught. What a catch by Derrick Woods. First down, Sooners. Instead, he goes for the low tackle, and they make the completion. Now Knight comes up firing on first down. It goes right back to the other side, this time to Jazz Reynolds. Honeycutt. Kick on the way. How about this ball game so far? 11:45 remaining in the first half. He's a matchup problem. They haven't got him the football yet. Play action. McCarron comes up firing. Got it out to Kenny Bell. Bell draws a crowd as he got across the 30 to the 32, and we check in with Holly. Jelston Fowler can play H back, full back, tail back. He's in motion right now in second down and three. And they're going to follow him on the run, and Yeldon's into the secondary, out to the 48-yard line. Best run of the night by T.J. Yeldon. Should have been offensive pass interference. Instead, second down and 10. T.J. Yeldon drives his way and backpedals his way for almost five. For A.J. McCarron on a third down and five. Ball goes that way. Cooper's got it. Amari Cooper. They'll drive him out of bounds, but he's got a first down at the 31-yard line, and you hear the chance of Coop from the Alabama faithful. Yeldon cuts back in the middle, and again, a tough run. It looked like he was going to get much, and he got six out of it. He moves that way, and he'll follow him again. Weaving his way for what looks like Possibly another first answer going to depend on how they spot it. The linesman looks like it's going to come up a little bit short. And with their regular lineman back out there after calling the timeout, third down and one. First time we've seen an eye backfield, I think, all night. And it yelled in straight ahead. Boy, they stood him up, but he got the first down. Not by much. 
Yeah, they didn't need very much. McCarron slips screen to Amari Cooper. And Cooper dives forward for about seven. Tapper holding on for dear life. And again, it's yelled in behind Fowler, and he's got another first down. And the ball out at the end. I don't know. Oklahoma's going the other way. Geno Grissom's got the football. An interception by McCarron and that fumble by Yeldon. Trevor Knight, play action, rolls and throws and completes it. And a nice move by Bester to get the first down. From the 46, first down throw, complete out to Shepard. And he's into Alabama territory as we check in with Holly. Third down and four. They empty the backfield. He's going to have to get rid of it in a hurry and did complete. Clay, I don't think, is going to get there. He's close, though. I think they're just going to try to draw him. <laughs> Here they come, and he's got it. Clay got two yards. So Sooners down to one timeout. But a first down at the 43. Play action. Knight's going to go long down the sideline. Oh, what a catch. Touchdown. And they had problems against Auburn in the last game in the fourth quarter in the red zone as well. Don't think a lot of people thought that Alabama would give Oklahoma 24 points, much less in the first half. Christian Jones met at the 16-yard line, and down he goes. So now A.J. McCarron playing behind by a touchdown. And it's Henry. And the big fella gets out for what looks like another first down. Late blitz coming. McCarron comes to the near side, complete to Kenny Bell. And Bell's got it out around the 34-yard line. With just under two minutes to play in the half. McCarron pressure coming from the backside. A.J. got around that, directs traffic, and now he's going to head for the first down marker, and he got there. First down, Alabama. McCarron, quick throw to the outside. Amari Cooper makes the catch. And they're starting signal caller on defense, and they're starting nose tackle. Third down and five. A.J. McCarron in trouble. Got away, at least for now. McCarron throws on the run, and it is caught. By Kevin Norwood. Wow. Off coverage up at the top. Second down and ten. Here comes the blitz. McCarron lets it go. And he's picked off. Sanchez. All the way to the 15-yard line. To grab command of the game here before halftime. End around. Shepard. Shepard. Touchdown. Oklahoma. Momentum on your side. After the play, on sportsmanlike conduct, number three of the offense for a throat slash. That 15-yard penalty will be assessed on the succeeding kickoff. I did not see that when it happened. Because of the penalty, this kick should be easily returnable by Christian Jones, and it will be from the 10-yard line. Jones, and he broke three. Christian Jones, nice return out to the 45. Right now, he's worried about getting the first down on third down and six. McCarron in trouble. Got it to Yeldon out of the backfield. P.J. Yeldon still on his feet inside the 35. First down, Alabama. And a 19-yard pickup. Clock starts again after they move the chains. McCarron on first down. Throws complete, but it's in the field of play here to Kevin Norwood. Use that last time out right here. Illegal substitution, 12 players on the defense. That penalty is accepted at five yards from the previous spot. It remains first down. The game clock will start on my signal. McCarron, look out. Down he goes. And it's Stryker. Now there's a penalty for taking his helmet off. Should be. I don't know that anybody saw him do it, but that's a penalty. Three wide outs to McCarron's left. He's looking that way. Throws back across the middle. Got to get out of bounds, and Norwood did. 
A.J. McCarron to hold. Kick by Foster up and it's no good. Wide right by just a little. Yep, it's that kind of feeling when you're looking for at least three points if you're an Alabama fan. First down to open the third quarter for the Sooners at the 25. And whoa, that's the way you start the half. <laughs> you know what? I was just about to say they have to figure out a way to make Trevor Knight uncomfortable. Barnett, nice kick. Jones from the 30. And already he's got some green grass in front. There's a flag down as Jones on his way down the sideline. Christian Jones hesitates and scores. Coming but back, is it so, coming back? Yeah, it's coming back. During the return, there are multiple fouls on the receiving team. Illegal block on the back. Number 83, return team. That penalty is declined. Illegal block on the back. Number 7 of the receiving team. That penalty will be enforced. 10 yards from the spot of the foul. First down. D.J. Yeldon had one of those turnovers, a fumble, and he's going to get the call right here. And Yeldon, trying to make up for it, gets eight yards before Stryker can bring him down. And we got uh, motion on the left side. That's Cyrus Quanjo. You know, Eric, Eric Stryker has kind of gotten into the head of Cyrus Quanjo in the first half. That's Amari Cooper in motion. Second down and seven. E.J. Yeldon, a little hesitation, lost his own footing. And Frank Shannon was there to make sure he didn't go any further. McCarron, straight drop. And batted down at the line. And Grissom, I think, got a hand on it. He so the second time he's made a big play tonight. Sam Mosley, his protector there, number 32, making sure everybody's lined up right. Mandel's kick a mile in the Superdome sky lights and lands down at the 23 yard line with a fair catch Trevor Knight 9 of 11 throwing the football 134 yards and two touchdowns They haven't run for much Clay will try here and he does a nice job out to the 30 yard line Remember Christian Jones Took 170 yards last time he touched it, but they were illegal blocks. He's going to take it in the same spot and reverses his field. Looking for blockers and goes down at the 40 yard line. Henry's the tailback. They fake it to him, and McCarron throws out in the flat to Cooper. And Amari Cooper run out at the 47 yard line by Aaron Colvin. Again, it's Henry, and he's got a first down, and he almost popped out the back side of that play. Got it into OU territory. Quanjo might have come out of his stance. Offside, onto the defense. Ooh. Comes into the initial zone, calls the offensive player to react. That's a five-yard penalty. So that was a reaction by the Quanjos. They're weak on the right side of the formation if Alabama runs there. Here goes Stryker moving over late. Henry. This time he does pop out the backside. Derrick Henry. Foot race. Touchdown. And proved that he can be accurate against tight coverage. He's missed his last five after that incompletion. And a flag, though. Gonna have... Williams back there defensively. Pass interference, defense, number 20. 15 yard penalty, automatic. First down. It's not going to get a chance here. Has to call fair catch and he lets it go. And it goes all the way to the end zone. <laughs> Quick throw out in the flat. Cooper looking for blockers. Got the first guy to miss. And he somehow got 12 yards. Henry. Straight up the gut. And he breaks tackles. And he might go again. Wow. Wow. What a run. <laughs> Five and a half to go 
Third quarter. Here he comes again. There he goes again. Henry, another 11 yards. First down, Alabama. McCarron. He's got to get rid of this one because there was just too much pressure coming again. And a flag flies down at the end of the play. Intentional grounding. Offense. Number 10. Still is walking down this follow foul. Fourth out. Sanders with a big touchdown return in the Oklahoma State win. Yep. And over in front. And that one's going to bounce back. It's going to be down at the one-yard line. Perfect job by Alabama and by their punter. He's seven yards deep in the end zone. Knight to throw. And he rips one wow. out across the <laughs> 10 to Brandon Green, the tight end. Love the call. Ooh, they came after it. They sure did. Run is short, but it does take a bounce in the favor of the Sooners. But McCarron from the shotgun. Plenty of time, and now running out of it. And he's going to be brought down by Jordan Wade. Those guys hoping that their team can hold on here in the fourth quarter against the Crimson Tide of Alabama. A.J. McCarron again in trouble. And somehow sidestepped most everybody, but not the last one. And we're going to have a holding call as well, I think. He's got to call fair catch as well. And he dropped it, but it's by the sideline, and it's right in front of Holly. <laughs> the thing that Alabama has tried to take away in the second half are the quick, easy throws for Trevor Knight. Knight, deep. This one's caught. Sterling Shepard. It was just tipped because Saunders couldn't quite get all of it on a deep pattern down the middle. Here's a screen out to Shepard. Got one block, got the corner, planted his foot, and went out of bounds, but he got a first down. And again, we've got a false start. First down. First and 15. That's eight in a row. And a flag. We're going to have a targeting foul here. Pass interference. Offense. Number three. 15 yards from the previous spot. First down. They move Shepard, and they're going to flare it out to him. Well, he got some of it back. Well, he's shifting. Play clock down to five right now. Better hustle. Here comes a blitz. Knight backpedaling. Throws and completes it to Clay. Wow, I thought he was going to have to throw it away almost, and he got it to his tailback. If you throw a screen pass and the ball's thrown behind the line of scrimmage, they can go downfield. But Clay was beyond the line of scrimmage as well. Knight, long ball on the sideline. Got it! To Bester. First down, Oklahoma. Knight wanting to go to the right side. Throws finally at the end, and it's wow. a touchdown to Sterling Shepard. It looked like Joe Montana to Dwight Clark. What a throw as he extended the play, and it's a nine-yard touchdown. Cody Mandel, the punts. Again, way up in the air, and a tough catch in traffic. About a six-yard return, Trey DePriest planted Saunders. Christian Jones waiting on Barnett's punt. And late fair catch taken at the 26-yard line. He's got Yeldon in there in the backfield with him. And he'll give it off to TJ. Might have gotten to the 31 before they track him down. Well, they don't have to throw every down, but they do need to convert here. Yeldon got it by about a yard. Second down and eight. 
throw all the way. Henry out in the flat. Nice cut back to the middle of the field. There goes Henry. Derrick Henry. Goodbye, Mr. Henry. Touchdown. Foster's kick to Roy Finch at the one-yard line. Finch to the edge, and now back to the middle, and he got it out to the 30, and a flag down. During the return, holding, receiving team number 82, 10-yard penalty, first down. Third and nine, blitz coming. They go with the screen to Clay. Did he get there? Yes, he did. 80 Sugar Bowls, and it's the first time ever. Both quarterbacks over 300 yards in the air. It's been that kind of evening. Here's a middle screen. And, ooh, Finch almost broke that one. Got tripped up. Clay trying to take it wide. And he's got another first down at midfield. Alabama thinking about bringing... Some pressure on Knight, and here they come. Knight over the middle. Had to thread the needle. Looking for a flag as Shepard, and he got one. Pass interference, defense number 20. Slot foul, automatic touchdown. Brennan Clay trying to bounce it outside, but he's going to lose yardage. Barnett to kick. Ooh, they came with a little bit of pressure. And Jones will take the fair catch around the 16-yard line. From the 18-yard line. McCarron. Pressure from behind, and the ball is out. And it's scooped up by Oklahoma. Touchdown. They moved the right tackle over to left tackle. Unbelievable performance by the Oklahoma offensive line. And that one hits one of the Alabama players up front, and I think Oklahoma's got it. <laughs> Considering the injuries at quarterback, the injuries and the loss of some critical players throughout this season, maybe as fine of a coaching job as he's had in a long time. And his 160th career victory at Oklahoma is definitely sugar sweet. A two touchdown underdog wins by two touchdowns over the Crimson Tide of Alabama. 45 31. And two of the best in the business will meet for the handshake. I think Holly's searching Bob out. Big game, Bob. Just won a big game, Holly. I think we know who the MVP is of the Knights. The All-State Sugar Bowl goes to the Sooners of Oklahoma. Their 11th win, their 11-2. Alabama's season ends at 11-2. The trophy presentation and a lot more coming up after the break. It'll be the Ford BCS postgame show. Final, Oklahoma 45, Alabama 31. Not the way A.J. McCarron wanted to go off, but congratulations to him on a brilliant Alabama career.